Bretton Woods, New Hampshire Despite the badge, few vehicles feel as wholly American as the Honda Accord since 1982, Honda's self-described flagship has been built in Ohio, not too far from the USADA manufacturing mecca that is Detroit. The car was embraced by Americans for its practicality and reliability. We've bought more than 13 million over nearly 40 years on the market. Crossovers may be moving, but the Accord sells more cars every year than all of Dodge, Mazda and Volkswagen still. Despite strong sales, something has been missing from Hondas in the past few years. From the moment the cover was pulled off this new model, there's been quite a stir from Honda enthusiasts. What seemed to cause the greatest fuss was the move to an entirely turbocharged lineup. The days of high revving naturally aspirated Honda engines is nearly gone, replaced by turbocharged engines with lots of torque and less stratospheric redlands. Pitchforks were raised over the loss of the V6. Some people seem to have given up on Honda. Those knee jerk reactions were all misplaced. This is the best Accord Honda has ever built. The 2018 Accord is available with either a 1.5-liter turbocharged inline-four making 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque or a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-four making 252 horsepower and a very un Honda 273 pound-feet of torque. The latter replaces the 3.5-liter V6 that's been in Hondas for more than 20 years. It's based off of and built alongside the 2.0-liter turbo engine found in the new Honda Civic Type R. These two turbocharged engines don't feel like Hondas of old, with sky-high redlands and anemic low-end power. If anything, these Torque engines lose some steam up top. Still even the base engine feels more than adequate in most situations the 1.5T comes paired with one of the best CVTs around it doesn't have the loose, band-like power delivery of other CVTs.